Whoa. Okay, hi guys. Uh, so as you can see, I'm outside in probably the least favorable uh, weather conditions. And that's because today is my free day to be able to test this cool new microphone from Synco. I'm gonna test it out alongside the Rode Wireless Go simply because they're so similar to each other. Uh, so anyway, stay tuned for this, hopefully uh, good informational and maybe even entertaining video. <laughs> So what's so cool about this new wireless microphone from Synco? Uh, it's, well, a lot of it actually is uh, very similar to the microphone that you're hearing me uh, on right now, which is the Rode Wireless Go, uh, which ever since I started using this microphone, it's been my favorite. So when I noticed that another company came up with something very, very similar, uh, but for half the price, I decided to give it a try and see, you know, is it as good as the Rode Wireless Go? So when it comes to the design, uh, as you can see, it's very similar to the Wireless uh, Go. Uh, it's the same kind of concept. You have a transmitter receiver that's kind of a box size. Uh, and then the, the transmitter has also a microphone capsule here. But you can also plug in a microphone, has a USB-C for charging. They're even almost the same in size. Now the Synco is tiny bit bigger and a little bit uh, heavier, but really it's not something you're going to notice. Now what about the actual internal specs? Uh, again, this is very, very similar to the Rode Wireless Go. Uh, it's rated at the same range, up to 230 feet uh, of distance, open line of sight. It's also a 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless digital signal, the same technology that uh, the Rode Wireless Go uses. It even operates in the exact same frequency range as the Rode Wireless Go, which is uh, 50 uh, hertz to 20 kilohertz. Uh, so let me now switch out this microphone so you can actually see how this sounds alongside the Rode Wireless Go. So now the audio that you're hearing is from the Synco microphone, uh, but I will be switching back and forth between these two mics so you can kind of, again, compare how this sounds alongside the Rode Wireless Go. And if you're wondering which microphone you're listening to, again, look in the corner of the video. Uh, you'll have a little notification there. Uh, but uh, like I was saying, very similar microphones. The biggest difference really is the price range. As far as the functionality and everything, Synco seems to offer the exact same things as the wireless uh, Go from uh, Rode. Now, another thing to keep in mind, which again, like I said, aside from the fact that the Synco microphone is half the price of the Rode Wireless Go, uh, there's actually uh, two things uh, kind of worth mentioning. One is that when you buy the Synco microphone, it comes uh, not with just a mic and then the little windscreen, which you can see up here, the Rode Wireless Go comes with. Uh, this one also includes the, the, you know, the little windscreen, little puffy thing. Uh, but on top of that, it actually includes a carrying case, it includes all the cables, including a, like a really cool double charging cable. Uh, it includes uh, actually a different cable so you can connect this uh, microphone to uh, your cameras, to your recording devices, or even like a mobile device or a laptop. So it has the different cables for that. Basically, it comes with everything that you need. Whereas with the Rode Wireless Go, you can obviously do all those same things, but you will need to buy some of those extra cables, which is again, an added expense. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that if you wanted to, for example, use these microphones for like a two person interview, let's say, so you wanna run two wireless microphones on two different people, you can do that with the Rode Wireless Go. They actually offer a lot of these accessories that you can buy, which is a little cold shoe mount, which allows you to mount two of the receivers, then a little uh, Y splitter cable so that you can actually connect the two receivers together into your camera and all that stuff. Uh, but with the Synco one, you can actually buy another version of this kit, which includes uh, the two microphones and one receiver. And that's because the Synco receivers can actually receive uh, up to two microphone signals at the same time. And of course, the advantage of that over the Rode Wireless Go is that it's a lot cheaper actually to buy that double kit. Plus it's just the whole setup is even smaller and simpler because you just have now one receiver. So I flipped the camera around now because I want to do a really quick long range test and uh, let you guys again hear how these systems perform. And if I go all the way to the end there uh, where the water is, then it's about 230 feet from what I measured. So. Uh, again, we're going to see how these microphones perform next to each other at that range. So here, again, this is how the wireless microphone system uh, sounds. And now I'm going to switch to the Rode Wireless Go. This is how they both sound at around 100 feet away. Let me go further. 
Now I'm about 200 feet away from the camera. And this is how it sounds on the Synco microphone. I'm gonna keep on walking further and, uh, and show you guys how it sounds at, uh, all the way up when I go to the beach there. All right, and now I'm all the way at the end. It actually turned out to be a little bit uh, further than I thought. It's about 250 feet away. Uh, so it's past the maximum working range that the uh, uh, you know, manufacturers for both of these microphones advertise. But again, this is how it sounds on the Synco. So this is how the Rode Wireless Go sounds at around 250 feet away from the microphone. Now we actually do have quite a bit of wind here on the beach today and a lot of people talking and music playing and stuff like that in the park. So, so right now I've got the Synco microphone all by itself. I'm going to do another long range test because as you guys could hear in the previous test, uh, once I had the Rode Wireless Go right next to it, uh, this became pretty useless uh, past 70 feet. So I'm hoping that it was basically just the interference. Now, of course, keep in mind that the Rode Wireless didn't seem to have any interference problems, even though the Synco was next to it. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to walk right now all the way to, uh, to 230 feet and we'll see how this performs. <clears throat> so here I'm walking with my back turned towards the camera. So the signal is going through my body and I am right now all right, and I'm here at uh, 100 feet. So this is around 100 feet distance. Hopefully this time the Synco microphone doesn't cut out. Like I said before, past 70 feet, it just would lose the signal pretty much altogether. So here I am at around 200 feet, uh, open line of sight. And there's, I don't think there's really any signal interference here. So you guys should be able to hear me because again, the advertised uh, range on this unit is 230 feet. Anyways, let me go further. And I'm um, at 230 feet away, and again, this is how the Synco wireless microphone sounds. We've got some wind now, so you can also hear how the, the windscreen performs or doesn't perform. Uh, anyways, this is at 230 feet. I'm going to be walking back now. Another thing I noticed after listening to the audio uh, it was that once I was again passed around 70 feet, uh, if I turned my back to the camera and the signal was no longer open line of sight, I had to go through my body, uh, it would again start cutting in and out and once like I was passed around 100 feet distance with my back towards the camera then it would lose the signal altogether. Uh, so this test I guess shows you that the Synco wireless microphone does work at uh, up to 230 feet but it has to be really open line of sight and very little interference. Now this crazy weather and the, and the wind that I have today actually might be a good thing because we can really see how well these microphones perform in these bad conditions. Now the windscreens are now, so they're now working as well as they should be, but they should protect, you know, and, and kind of fix the sound or some of the bad wind noise. Uh, the winds we're getting today are they're around 30 to 40 miles with gusts up to 70 to 80 miles. So definitely not the best conditions you want to be filming in. I actually feel sort of like I'm like one of those weather anchors who's outside reporting on the la latest, you know, bad weather conditions. Uh, so if you guys want to actually see which microphone you're listening to right now, just look in the corner of the video. I'll put the name over there. You can also head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com. You can download the, uh, the, the, the whole raw audio file. So you can actually be able to hear in one audio channel, basically the left audio channel, one microphone, the other channel, the other microphone. Um, and uh, you know, again, this is how I sound outside with this crazy wind. Uh, I'm in a little bit of a protected area, so I shouldn't be getting crazy wind like with those gusts of 70 miles an hour, but I'm still getting wind and I'm getting pummeled here with, with the rain. So I'm definitely, uh, it might actually be a really good test to see whether these microphones stand up well to the to weather, to wet conditions. Now, ideally you'd want to have it covered. So I don't know how this affects the sound right now, but normally you'd cover it with a jacket like this. You wouldn't want to have it exposed to the rain. So this is hopefully a good outside um, microphone test and it gives you really an idea of what you can expect with these microphones, whether you have nice weather or this really, really crappy weather. I'm going to run back inside right now because we are getting some uh, flash flood warnings in the area. So I'll probably have to pack up everything and be ready to be able to leave uh, the house in case, you know, the flash floodings do hit. But uh, I will make sure to finish the rest of this video. And for you guys, it's going to be no time at all since you'll watch the final edited version. 
the transmitter and receiver both have clips in the back that you can use to attach to clothing and you can also use it to attach it to any camera called shoe mount since the clips fit perfectly. Again, this is identical to the way that the Rode Wireless Go attaches. Uh, the Synco Wireless Mic is powered by an internal battery that lasts up to 7 hours and takes 2 hours to fully recharge through the USB-C cable that's provided, uh, which is slightly better than the Rode Wireless Go that has a 5 hour internal battery, but it only takes 1.5 hours to fully recharge. Uh, both systems can be powered by a portable USB battery bank. Now, when it comes to operation, uh, the Synco wireless microphone system is very easy, very simple to operate. Again, <laughs> identical to the Rode Wireless Go. Now, the receivers on both the Rode and the Synco systems are very similar. They both have three buttons, one for power, another one for pairing, and a third button for adjusting the volume. There's also a USB-C connection for charging and, and powering the units. Uh, and really the biggest difference is with the line out. So they both have a line out connection, but the Synco also has a headphone out, which allows you to monitor the audio before it goes out to your camera. Also, the Rode receiver has a really nice digital display, which shows you all the information with regards to the signal strength and the, the uh, audio levels. Now, when it comes to the transmitter uh, slash microphone capsules, again, it's almost identical in both uh, systems. Uh, they both have a power button, a pairing button, the, and they also have a USB-C connection for powering and charging the units. And they have a, a microphone connection if you want to use an exterior lav microphone. The difference is that the Synco has an extra high-pass filter, uh, which is just a button that you click to turn it on and off. So hopefully this video gives you guys a good idea of what you can expect with this new wireless uh, microphone from Senko and also how it compares alongside the Rode Wireless Go. Uh, if, and maybe I'm going to actually let you guys decide and tell me, do you think that uh, the, the new microphone from Senko uh, with its you know 50% price tag compared to the Rode Wireless Go is a good match comparison? Does it come close? Is it the same? Maybe it's even better. Uh, so I'll let you guys actually let me know in the comment section below. If you want to make an even better, uh, I would say, educated decision on this, then uh, you should probably download the raw files from uh, this recording that I have up here, uh, which you can do so uh, by heading over to my website, which is tomantosfilms.com, or you can just follow the links in the description of this video. The same thing if you guys want to actually purchase either of these microphone systems, I'll provide the affiliate links in the description of the video and uh, if you guys use those it's greatly appreciated because it helps me uh, spend the time to be able to do these kind of tests for you guys anyways that's it for this video but before you leave again remember to let me know in the comment section below which microphone system you think is the winner the Synco or the Rode Wireless Go I'll see you in the next one bye